Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to discuss why we need to be paying very close attention to the BRICS Summit, which is coming up in August. Actually, it'll be August 22nd to August 24th of this year, 2023, in South Africa. This summit could very well be paving the way for the coming 10 kings or 10 horns spoken of in the book of Daniel and in the book of Revelation. In the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, it talks about 10 kings or 10 horns that will precede the arrival of the future Antichrist. And eventually, they will give their power unto the beast. The 10 world leaders arise during the final Gentile kingdom and before the Antichrist appears. So the rise of these 10 kings, again, will precede the arrival of the Antichrist at the start of the tribulation period. So what does the upcoming BRICS summit have to do with the possible rise of these 10 kings? First, let's talk about what BRICS is. Now, I've done several videos on BRICS before, but in case you are not aware, BRICS is an acronym for the regional economies of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. In fact, BRICS just overtook the G7 nations in global GDP to become economically more powerful. But this upcoming summit in August, it is absolutely huge, folks, because the BRICS alliance will jointly decide on the formation of a new currency in the next summit in August, August 22nd to August 24th in South Africa. The move could hamper the prospects of the U.S. dollar and challenge its status as the global reserve currency. If more countries begin to accept the soon-to-be-released currency for cross-border transactions, it could send the, U the United States dollar on the path of decline. Therefore, the summit in August is decisive and could reshape the geopolitical landscape and traditional financial establishments. And guess what, folks? More nations are jumping aboard the BRICS train. In fact, like you see on the screen here from a recent source from the Daily Hodel, 24 nations have aligned themselves against the U.S. dollar as BRICS looks to launch a new global currency. In fact, like you see on the screen here over from Watch Your Guru, five new countries have actually said they're going to join and adopt BRICS currency this year in 2023. And what are these countries? Well, the countries are reportedly Iran, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Egypt. Do the math with me, folks. Those five countries just said they're going to adopt a new BRICS currency on top of the five that have already formed BRICS. Again, you have Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa that have made up BRICS. And now you have those five that are supposed to, at this coming summit, August 22nd to August 24th, 2022, join and adopt a new BRICS uh, global currency. Do the math. Five are planning to join. Five are already in BRICS. That equals 10. Will these 10 then lead the charge with the remaining countries that have submitted applications to join? Because again, we have around 25 countries or so that have sent in applications to join BRICS. Folks, we are seeing a massive move to weaken the U.S. dollar and challenge its status as the global reserve currency. BRICS is all about aligning against the U.S. dollar and launching a new global currency. Is this leading to the rise of the Ten Kings? It sure looks possible, folks, as we race toward this coming empire of the Antichrist and collapse of the U.S. dollar and America as a leading world power. We need to keep our eyes on this, folks, as we approach this upcoming BRICS Summit, August 22nd to August 24th, 2023. Heck, Jesus might come first. We're watching every day on this channel. However, this summit is going to be a game changer because you have five, again, that, are, that have already formed BRICS. You have five 
talking about joining and adopting a BRICS currency, which would bring it to 10. And then you have about 25 countries saying that they want to uh, apply and join BRICS. But this BRICS summit could very well be setting the stage for the rise of the Ten Kings spoken of in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation that will precede the arrival of the future Antichrist. And if we see the stage getting set up for the rise of these Ten Kings, and we see the tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth right now, and we know the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the tribulation period begins, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Belief. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins and be with them forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell is a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. He's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.